Collins is a clown. I'm just gonna go off, okay? Because this man needs to be off air, okay? Period, okay? He never needs to come on again, okay? And this is why. So for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> okay, Ryan Allens is a former, this is a surprise to everybody, the NBA player, okay? He was good enough to make it from college, uh, high school to make it to a college team, okay? Did not care to look up his background, but he played in the NBA at some point in time, okay? Completely inconsequential. The man averaged like two points per game. Like, I'm not kidding it about it. Look it up, like seriously. Ryan Collins masquerades, okay, now that he retired um, as a sports analyst, okay? And let me tell you guys something real quick. A lot of these athletes, okay, and sometimes they're right about this, say, oh, you've never played this sport, so you can't analyze shit. Ryan Hollins proves that you don't need to be an athlete, okay, to know how a game should be played to be able to analyze things and make predictions and give your two cents, okay? Because a lot of his points make absolutely no sense. He literally says stuff, I believe, for shock value. Said it again. Absolutely. <laughs> there's, there's nobody on the Warriors that can stop Russ if he has his oh. mind to it. There's, there's nobody on the Warriors that can stop Russ if he has his mind to it. But that's part of Russ's biggest problem is that when he gets in his own way, he forgets everybody else on the floor. You one. Okay. I'll give you one. Okay, here we go. I am intrigued. Ready? I'm not fully sold on Brooklyn right now. I'm KD and Kyrie. I'm not sold on Brooklyn. Wow. I'm not fully wow. sold on Brooklyn. Oh. KD and Kyrie is overrated. I'm not fully sold. I'm not all in. Yeah, you I'm not all in. I, I support I, you I, walking I, away. You're not all in. kidding me. He's a star. When you put the ball in his hands, the team's going to play better. The ball's going to so pop the So what are around. you saying, Ryan? The Wizards are, you... are going to make the playoff. The Wizards 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 are going to make the playoff. See what I mean? okay also is super cringe and very very inauthentic he can still play defense at a pretty high level i just heard jalen rose say it this morning so don't blame uh -oh. me the man said it this morning on get up he said he, he, can gonna play, guard? he can play who's he gonna guard defense of multiple positions at a high level jalen rose said it don't get mad at me get mad at him so the guy is a very very good player whether he's a leader not a semantics which you can say I don't even know who he really is, okay? He's just a very bad, like, Saturday Night Level, Saturday Night Live Level, um, uh, yeah, that tier of comedy Stephen A. Smith impersonation. The only thing him and Stephen A. Smith have in common is they're both light-skinned, and they both always have that perpetually, like, perplexed, shock, incredulous look on their face, okay? Stephen A., I feel, is more natural which makes it hilarious. But Ryan Hollins, you can tell he's putting on a show, okay? And it's completely cringe. <laughs> because this man, okay. Ryan Hollins also has a irrational hate for Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, for Giannis Antetokounmpo, for Giannis Antetokounmpo, for Ryan's, uh, Ryan's, Yan. Uh, <coughs> okay, the big guy who plays on the Milwaukee Bucks, the Greek freak, okay, the it kid, the kid wonder, okay, he has an irrational hate for this young man, okay, Giannis is young as hell, okay, I don't, I don't even know if he's 24 years old, I'm not even sure, but He's young. He was like a rookie like yesterday, okay? And he's making a name for himself in the league. But Ryan Hollins, okay, just seems to hate on this kid. Like, he's a hater. It's insane. Got it. Listen, this man is right now, he's the most overrated in basketball. Is he a good basketball player? Wow. Yeah, I love him. I love him. I like wow. him. I'm I sick. like what he's... I'm sick. You are hey, hating. You're going from hating on Kawhi Absolutely. to hating on being the MVP and you had a reaction I was not expecting at all. Please share. <laughs> He's not the MVP. To me, uh, when you talk MVP, that means you're the most valuable player on the team. Your impact 
is the largest. And when I watch Giannis, yes, he rebounds, he blocks shots, he defends, he does all those little things. I love what he does. I love him. But he's not going to close out a game for you. He's not going to go out and win that big game. In fact, in the fourth quarters, he turns into more of a center and more of into a roller. To I, I, I just don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it. Okay, it, it's like, it's, it's insane. And like, he, Collins, most importantly, is literally the butt of everybody's joke, okay? Like, you cannot take Ryan Holland seriously. Like I said, between his clickbait takes that are for attention, his wannabe Stephen A. Smith impersonation that you only find funny if you were, you know, three shots deep, maybe, okay? And just his irrational hate for certain players. Ryan Hollins is literally the butt of everybody's joke, okay? Everybody roasts Ryan Hollins, okay? But especially Max Kellerman, okay? Now, if you guys watch First Take, it's very easy to see Stephen A does not respect Max or care about his opinions about <laughs> literally anything, okay? It's very apparent. But here's the thing that gets me about that. Max, okay, Max, who is also the butt of everyone's joke pretty much because of his analogies and shit, has the ability to roast Ryan Hollins and get people on his side. That's how bad Ryan Hollins is. Let me tell you how good Giannis is. It's hard to imagine. Ryan Hollins, imagine a guy your size, but really good at basketball. Like, think about that for a second. It's embarrassing. You cannot take this man seriously. We've ever seen play the game of basketball. He's gonna be remembered for the pick and roll. But in all reality, Father Time is undefeated. Oh, He's not this the is, same player. This is why I was only arguing with Max, because those are two trash arguments. So that he had- You know, I used to think he was a ratings killer, but I honestly think that they put him on in Stephen A's absence, the sun's disappearing. Stephen A's absence because they know it pisses people off, okay? ESPN is very calculated with what they're doing. They know what they're doing, okay? But I'm telling you, ESPN, if you want your like and dislike ratio to be, you know, respectable like it usually is, get Ryan Collins off TV, okay? If you want to keep your fans happy, if you don't want us infuriated, if you don't want us yelling at our TV at our TV screens, at our cell phone screens, at our laptop screens. Get Ryan Hollins off of television. He is a clown, okay? He has no idea what he's talking about. And I don't understand why you would get a man who averaged two points in the NBA and have him masquerade as an analyst because he's not an analyst. Ryan Hollins is a comedian, okay? That's what Ryan Hollins is. He's an actor, okay, pretending to be an analyst because there is no way he actually believes any of the things he's saying, okay? The Wizards are gonna make the playoff. I've gotten all I need to say out, okay? <laughs> like, I feel like we all need a group therapy session because last week was hell. Stephen A was gone, undisputed, has ha had their like summer break. Could not do it. Could not do it. Ryan Hollins is a clown, okay? For the 50th time in this video and he has got to go.